So as many of you know, I live in Florida and sometimes the weather here is not great. And in fact, there's a hurricane on its way here and I've got a bit of a problem that I think we can solve with 3D printing. Here, take a look. This is one of my gutters, or one of the downspouts, I guess you could say. And we got a bit of a problem. The water doesn't go anywhere. It feeds the weeds that have somehow come up through the, the, the plastic. Don't worry about that. The problem that we have here is the water doesn't go anywhere. And I want it to go there, or there, or anywhere else other than there. So I think we have a way to solve this with 3D printing because nobody makes an adapter for what I want to do. I have bought some three inch water hose for pools. It's to drain pools. I'll put a link to it in the description. And we're gonna make an adapter because these downspouts here are three by four inches and nobody makes an adapter to go from a three by four inch downspout to a three inch pipe. And I, I know, I know, I know before you say it, Grant, three inches is smaller than four. And even though I am a guy, I understand that. We still have to solve this problem because if we don't, we run the risk of water getting under my foundation of the house. And I don't know if you know what happens then, but I can tell you, it's not pretty. So let's get some measurements. Let's get inside. Let's do some CAD. Cause I know that it's kind of gloom and doom, but it's a little sunny out here. And, and, and me, me and sun, we ain't even on talking terms. So this hurricane, we just got an update. Let, let me, let me show you guys uh, this update here. So we are looking specifically at tropical storm Ian. And so Ian is about to go into some pretty hot water if you will. Previously, Ian was set to make landfall right here. In fact, I live just basically a little bit under the F there. F's in the chat, if you will. So while there is still a chance that Ian is going to impact my area, it's likely just going to go right up into the panhandle. Hey, uh, future Grant here, past Grant is incorrect. Uh, in fact, the storm has shifted completely back, not only going directly at Tampa, but now it is south of Tampa, south of Bradenton, and coming in somewhere just south of Venice. And we can see that about 8 p.m. on Tuesday, it is a couple hundred miles off the coast of Florida. But on the bright side, Waffle Houses are not yet closed. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, look up the Waffle House Index. It's an actual thing that FEMA uses. When Waffle House closes, we get scared. Otherwise, uh, yeah, you can tell the Floridians that have been here for a while versus the transplants. It's based on what's in your shopping cart when you know there's a hurricane coming. Is it booze or is it water? But yeah, it's... Uh, but take a look at this radar. <laughs> this is as we stand right now, 1015 in the evening on Tuesday. Yeah, it's rough. You guys can see my relative positioning here. I'm actually a little bit north of that, but there's the eye of the storm. It is not going to come over us. It might go over our editor, Andrew. So that might be interesting if he can get us some footage inside the eye of a storm because it is eerily quiet. Anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. Let's get back to past Grant because he's got some cool stuff to show you. Oh yeah, like and subscribe helps the channel. So do I need to be doing this? No, not really. Literally three hours ago, it was, hey, we need to do this. But you know what? It's still obviously a problem, so I'm still gonna do it anyways. I think it's still valuable and useful. So we'll see what happens. Anyways, building this was actually not all that complicated. Ultimately, it required getting a couple of measurements and making sure that we added the correct tapers. We're tapering only about two to three millimeters on each piece. That should give us enough to get from a snug fit to something where we can easily screw in to the downspout as well as use a hose clamp to put on the actual part itself. This 3D print, I didn't want to take very long and ultimately five millimeters was way too thick. We went to a three millimeter wall all the way around and that is what we ran with printed in PETG, fat layers, fat line widths, just to make this thing print quickly and be as strong as possible. Held in with a couple of tech screws and of course, link to the file down below on Prusa printers. Now that we fired up Prusa Slicer, we can grab our part right here. We can take a look. This is a big, chunky boy. I'm gonna make sure that we put that surface down. I'm gonna grab my paintbrush. I just wanna see. No, we don't need support. Oh, beautiful. So good, wonderful. I was hoping we weren't going to need support. Now, I am going to do 
some trickery to make this thing run much faster. And if you are a member of our Patreon, we will make sure to post this 3MF file up there for you guys with all of my fancy speed settings because this boy has got to go fast. While I'm doing all this, I might as well tell you about our Patreon and our Discord. If you do want to support things that we do here at 3D Musketeers, you can do so by kicking a couple of bucks into that creator fund every month. We produce content multiple times a week with really awesome guests. And by the way, I presume it's going to be an awesome podcast episode with Brent Britton, who's happening Monday, which for me is tomorrow, for you was two days ago. But I hope that you guys will enjoy. We're going to talk all about intellectual property. I'm really excited for that. And if you want us to bring on more cool guests like that, a couple of bucks in that creator fund, help make that reach out every bit easier. Now, I know what a lot of you are going to say. Grant, I don't have any money. I get it. It's tough these days. It is what it is. Like, share, and subscribe goes a long way to helping our channel grow, which means I do less of these call to actions for myself and start doing them for other companies. Yeah. I like the sound of that too, because your boy needs to get paid. You feel me? <laughs> I realized that I forgot to put the holes in the side of this, so we 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 need to go back and, and, and do that. So let's let's do that real quick. <laughs> Just gonna add some five millimeter holes. Again, we will provide this to all of our Patreon members. I might end up uploading its printables. We'll see. We will upload the STL file though. Now we've got it. Now the concern I do have here is it's slipping off the edge so we can add a bit of a lip if we wanted which now that i'm saying it doesn't really sound like a bad idea and that means when we put the hose clamp on it it shouldn't come out awesome i went ahead and shortened everything up a little bit i, I i'm trying to have this piece print relatively quickly you can see that v1 is considerably taller than v2 which means that it's going to take longer to print it's also missing the holes that we needed as well as it's missing a barb for the pipe so that when we put the hose clamp on that th this tubing hopefully doesn't come off get this baby sliced up and let's take a look at what we're looking at six hours and 40 minutes with my uh gotta go fast speed settings i think i think this will be good we're gonna get this thing rolling we're gonna do a quick time lapse of it and i'll be back costume change it's about four hours later been working outside and that means i don't want to get one of my company polos dirty but we got our tubing we got gen 1 prototype here and uh she fits on there at least so now it is time to go see if it works on the gutter and if it does we're gonna get this thing screwed in place and unfortunately we're not really gonna be able to test it i don't want to just start spraying water onto my roof so uh we're just gonna go see if it fits and of course the one i'm going to test on is literally the one that I don't need it on. But better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Let's go outside. Boy, I absolutely love it when something that uh, you didn't have a lot of hope for absolutely worked. So this was the original one. That absolutely destroyed. But this actually fits on relatively snug and the fact that it is tapered works out great. We can reutilize some holes that are already existing and well that should make life quite a bit easier. And just like that we go from old and busted to new hotness. We're totally done. Now this is the shorter run. <sighs> let me let me take you over to the big run. And before any of you stayed I know I need to cut the damn grass. Give me Give me a break, I got a bad back here. You can actually see this is not from Ian from what I understand because it is Monday night. And uh, I don't know, I think it's just normal afternoon storms. But these are the two that I'm worried about. This one back here because <laughs> this is uphill. I don't know if it's, if it's coming through. And also this here is my septic and drainage field. Which is a bit of a problem. You don't want to saturate this or your septic system won't work. And uh, kind of need that to function so we've got one assault here you can actually see the old system was leaking so we can see where the mulch has been carried away uh, to the plants but there we go hose clamped on going all the way out there into the yard now between that one over there and this one here is just one of the runs I could obviously cut this a lot shorter but I don't need spare and if I do I'll cut it shorter 
but this will absolutely help get the water away from the house, which is ultimately my goal. Uh, unfortunately, I left yesterday talking about how it's not really on a path to me. It was going up into the panhandle. That has all changed once again. It is looking to make landfall directly into Tampa Bay. So when you guys are watching this, I may not actually have power. So wish me well, because I don't have shutters. Uh, so hopefully we don't have any issues with any debris or whatever it might be. That's what we do here in Florida, okay? Also, that view though, come on. This is what we do in Florida. We just kind of deal with it and we find our way through. I still have a couple little things to take care of, like small little bits and bobs to pick up so they don't end up becoming shrapnel for somebody else. But uh, that's what I've done to protect my house from drainage issues. That's all I got for you guys today. Stay safe out there because uh, it's kind of nasty. Don't forget to call your loved ones. Engineering. And as always, keep making awesome. Have a good one. Ah! This lighting is amazing. Like, I don't think I've ever looked more real like to life skin tone, but uh, it's golden hour. So random bits of B-roll for you guys. Here, take a look. Just, ah, uh, so good. Oh, hey there, thanks for watching this video and a massive thank you goes out to all of our Patreon and YouTube channel member supporters whose names are listed somewhere next to me at the $5 tier and higher. Remember, if you wanna get your name listed in that fun list, join at the $5 tier and higher. I just said that before. Patreon is now gonna charge you when you join every month rather than at the beginning of the month. So every time in the month is a great time to join. We might need it because uh, we might sustain some damage. Right below me will be two videos that are just randomly chosen for you or our editor is gonna choose one because I'm a little stressed and uh, I don't know what two videos we should send you guys to, but you should click at least one of them. I'll see you down in those comments and in the next one. Hope you guys like this vlog style. Take care.